This is 25 Grove Street. It's a Cape Style Colonial. Um, great neighborhood in Orono. Uh, quiet street. Um, the lot backs up to the um, trail to the university, so you could literally walk to the university from here. Um, currently uh, <coughs> owner occupied, uh, and they've done some neat stuff that the normal person wouldn't who had a house rental in Orono. They resided it, did new windows, did a lifetime warranty roofing on it. Um, so, very neat that way. It also <coughs> is, <coughs> excuse me, got a bunch of landscaping and a really nice backyard, including a garden plot. Somebody doesn't have to use, but they could. Um, it's got a one car garage, which fits a small vehicle, and then it's got the overhang for some storage for seasonal stuff. Uh, they did do, they bought it and lived here for a number of years. Um, they did some nice features like this is that composite decking. And so you don't have to go outside in the winter time to get to the garage. The uh, garage basic does have an auto door opener. It would fit a small car or a small SUV. Isn't long enough to fit like a full size truck, um, but is nice to have that garage. You have the option Certainly one of the really nice things is this backyard. Uh, it's got a double lot, it's double deep. And uh, as you can kind of tell, got walkway. They've got a two tier deck. Um, that's actually a heat pump, uh, which the owner had. That's unusual too. So the, the downstairs of the house is air conditioned uh, as well has um, some <coughs> secondary heat, which is super efficient, uh, which is neat. And so you have a deck off the master bedroom, uh, which has its own bathroom on that side. And then this has a little living room, a big living room and a little sitting area. And then a big yard. Um, see the fenced in area back there. That's where she had her garden. Um, even has a little pond. It's very kind of neat. Um, if you don't have a green thumb, no problem. But if you do, it is uh, a super neat opportunity because most house rentals don't have anything like a nice yard. Um, so over the years, they did do a lot of different stuff to the house. One of the things was they took out the old kitchen and put in a new kitchen. So uh, it does have uh, kind of a galley style, but it's, it's a lot bigger than most. And they did do some neat things with the cabinets, like they've got pull-out drawers. And it's got the extra deep with a pull-out sprayer on the handle. And it does have a double oven on that, built-in microwave. Of course, dishwasher too. So then it's got dining room. The stuff that's here will be moved. Uh, the house does come unfurnished. So it's got a full bath here. It does have a good size sort of like coat closet there too. Um, but it has a full bath here. Tile. This is renovated. It's got a toilet there as well. And then <clears throat> you've got a big living room. Now, whenever you see a piano in a living room, you can always tell it's big. <laughs> the uh, rest is here. And that is a nice sunken sitting area. Could be for an office, I suppose, too. But um, and it has the built-in bookshelves. Uh, really nice. It does have a wood stove, and that is staying, but it can't be used. Um, in our area, it's pretty typical. Uh, owners can get insurance for wood burning stoves. It's a little bit more expensive than get it, but when you as soon as you turn it to a rental, um, it's very hard, if not impossible, to get insurance companies to insure. Kind of makes sense if you think about an insurance company. This is you know three hundred thousand dollar house, and uh, insurance company is not ex extremely excited about saying yes, you can light a fire in the middle of it. So again, wraps around to the dining kitchen, and we'll go upstairs before we do the master, I guess does have three bedrooms and a half bath up here. Two pretty good sized bedrooms. Um, this is kind of a long narrow one. It's got like a sitting area. Or could have a desk there or something. And then it's got plenty of room for uh, even a uh, king size would probably fit. That's a full, I think, but has it built in there. And then it has a long little closet here. Very long, be good for some storage. And then at the top of the stairs again, you have that half bath. It is all wood floors, so there's not carpeting anywhere. That's kind of neat. It's a lot easier to clean, better for allergies. And again, the owner replaced the windows, so the windows have been all replaced with vinyl ones, which is nice. And then this other big one here, 
Um, I think, again, this would take a king size bed too. Um, not that common in our area to have king size, but queens are easy and folds, of course, very common too. So that kind of finishes the upstairs. Again, these wood floors were refinished, um, but then they haven't had much use, so they're in great shape. living room it's got master uh, you could of course use one of the upstairs bedrooms as a master since there's three of them but I think this was added on after the fact because it has a full foundation to this but you can tell it was added on so it's got a first floor master with its own bathroom and kind of a neat sitting bonus area on this side so the master is a full bath again it has hardwood floors which is nice and then you've got this sort of sitting area here, which has its own door to the outside deck. And literally when I was here a couple of days ago, there were two deer in the backyard. And that's actually why, if you notice, um, the garden area the owner has there is all fenced. And that's because you have to do that to keep the deer out. <laughs> so even though we're in the heart of Orwell, uh, there's deer and turkey uh, commonly. So that is a really nice feature. And uh, again, real hardwood here. Um, and again, big room. So it does have kind of a, like a double-sized closet. It's not a walk-in, but it has a double-sized closet. So it is good size. So that completes 25 Grove Street. If you would be interested, let us know. Rentbangor.com, 974-6606.